Two Newport News students are suing the school division over the shooting inside Heritage High two years ago. A student at the school fired a gun inside a crowded hallway, hurting two other students who survived. These liability claims are just the latest in a series of lawsuits against the division over shootings on school property over the past few years. And Sparocco has details. A combination of more than $11 million. That's how much both students are suing the Newport News School Board and then former superintendent Dr. George Parker III in total regarding the shooting at Heritage High School in 2021. The lawsuits allege when the 15 year old shooter fired multiple rounds inside a crowded hallway, the two students who are suing rushed to safety inside their classrooms. One student says she rushed to the closet inside a classroom with a group of other students elbowing her and accidentally hitting her in the head as they crammed into the closet. The other student says she wedged herself between a wall and a filing cabinet to take cover, also suffering from getting hit by other panicked students. Both lawsuits state the school did not appear to have a safety plan as soon as waited nearly 45 minutes for law enforcement to arrive. The attorney representing the students wrote in the lawsuit that the school division enrolled the shooter knowing he had a prior malicious wounding conviction. However, the school division's attorneys wrote back in a court document stating the student who caused the shooting was not enrolled at the high school at the time of his prior offense. Two other students got hurt as a result of that shooting but survived. Now the shooter is currently in a juvenile detention program. In Newport News, I'm Ann Sparaka for 13 News Now. The Newport News School Board voted to fire former superintendent Dr. George Parker III a couple of weeks following the shooting at Rich Neck Elementary. In addition to those lawsuits, two former educators in the division filed tandem suits earlier this year. Teachers say that school division leaders failed to ensure their safety. Michelle Webb, a 12th grade teacher at the time, and her former teaching assistant, Leslie Turner, are asking for $4.2 million in damages collectively.